Hello everyone and welcome back to Learn to Love DIY. Today we are creating a beautiful card. Well, actually two of them. This is what they the technique that they call a split card. And basically what it is is that you're creating two cards at the same time all by um, putting your cat, uh, cat, cat out in the center and then cutting off your card. So technically this was one piece like this and then I cut it in half and I was able to get two different cards out of it. And this is what we're going to be creating. We're going to be creating two cards in one video today. I'm using the Timeless Tulips. I wanted to change out the sentiments. This one says love and thanks to a dear friend. And then this one's to a friend that makes me smile. And today I'm just using the Happy Birthday from the Timeless Tulips. And this is in the annual catalog. As well as the Price Peonies. I used the images. And I'll be using, instead of the dots around my card, I'll be using this image here. And then of course I used the dies. Because I did pre-cut all of these lovely flowers that we're going to be using today to put our cards together. So I'm going to go ahead and give you some of the details as far as what you're going to be needing. You'll need a lot of the cutouts here. I did a bunch of the flowers and then leaves. Okay, so I'll put these aside. So I already did a whole bunch of those. Then you'll need this Whisper White piece. And this is basically what's going to go on the front. So we'll be cutting this in half once we are done. And actually, let me measure this. I don't think I wrote down the measurements. I wrote down the, the end measurement, but not the whole piece. Okay, so this is a seven and a half by five. And basically the, the, white, the whisper white piece, which is this here, once you glue it on, will end up being three and three quarters by five. Okay, and then the basic gray that you'll be using right behind that measures four by five and a quarter. And then you need, and of course you'll need two of those. And then I have these that are already pre-stamped that'll go on the inside. And those are whisper white. This one measures five by three and three quarters. So the same as the outer whisper white layer. And then you need two of the Whisper White pieces cut at 11 by 4 and a quarter squared at 5 and a half. And you'll need two of each of what I've mentioned. So I'm going to set most of these aside except for this guy. And I'll put this on the side. Leave these up here. And the first order of things is marking the halfway point where you're going to go ahead and line up all of your flowers and leaves. I'm going to take my pencil. Let me turn this around because I like working in inches. So, as I said, your piece of Whisper White is seven and a half, and you're going to find your halfway mark, which is, what did I say? Three and three quarters, if I'm not mistaken. I'm just going to line it up up towards the front. I'm working it just above there, and then I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom, and then I'm just going to line them up and create a line. And that's basically going to serve as my guide point for adhering the, the flowers. Okay? So just like that. And you don't have to worry about uh, erasing this because it will be covered with the flowers that you're going to be gluing on here. And I'm using my, my Tombow. And again, you can dry fit this. And I might forward it so that you don't have to visually see everything, but you'll see the process that I go through. I'm just going to go ahead and start placing them and I'll fast forward it. You can kind of just see how I place them. And if you wanted to know, I use the light and dark petal pink as well as the light and dark, I think it's garden green. Let me verify that. Or maybe granny, oh, sorry, the light and dark granny apple green. Just wanted to give you those colors just in case you're wanting to replicate it exactly as I did. And then for the centers, of these guys, I use the light smoky slate just to give it a bit of color. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start and then I'll fast forward as I mentioned.
this is what my card would look like. I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and pick, take my paper trimmer and cut this in half, and then we can start layering. I hope you somewhat got the gist of what you'll need to do in order to create your card. And again, you're gonna cut this at three and three quarters. And just go gentle with that blade. So, with our background piece, or with this cute little stamp here, I'm going to go ahead and just stamp randomly, leaving room for my sentiment. And I'm using both my Smoky Slate and Petal Pink. I decided to go with the lighter of the grays, although you could use the um, basic gray that you're using as far as the card, but I just wanted to give it a light touch. Let me take, oops. Sorry, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Simply Shammy. I'm going to clean off my stamp, and I can go ahead and do the petal pink on there as well. Okay, clean that off. Then we're going to do the happy birthday, and I think we are going to do this in black just so that it stands out. I know in the other cards I used either the petal pink or the smoky slate, but we're going to try to use the Memento Tecido black ink and see if it gives it a bit of pop. To our sentiment. Perfect. I think that works fairly well. And of course, if you wanted to fill in the gaps that are left, you could open these up again and do so. And then we could do a couple in the smoky slate. I'm always cleaning my stamp just to make sure I don't get my colors mixed up. There we go. Alrighty. So I'll set these aside and finish cleaning them off in a bit. We're going to set those aside and we're going to layer our cards. I'm going to take my bone folder and I'm just going to burnish these corners here. Alright. We're going to start by doing the inside of our card. I'll open both of these up. Okay. And since I used the happy birthday on the outside, you could choose to put a different or another sentiment on the inside. I'm leaving mine as is. Kind of like that look. Very soft. And you could essentially write over the penny. Now we're going to do the outside. Well, actually, let's adhere this, these guys onto our 
basic gray pieces. I hope that you've enjoyed uh, watching me create this card and I hope that you recreate it at home. Let me know if there's anything that I can do to help or anything that I can do to clarify how you make the card. This I've been meaning to make this for quite some time. I just haven't had a chance to film it. So I had it made and then I put it aside until I had a chance to get it on camera. And I know I've mentioned this maybe in a different video, but the, ca the holiday catalog is coming out August 4th. I am so looking forward to that. I hope that you are as well. Please let me know if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. be happy to send you a catalog or feel free to browse the web. And during checkout, choose me as your demonstrator. And I'll get notified when you place your order. And that way, in case you do have any questions about any of the products you ordered, I'll know. And if you're watching my videos and you're not already subscribed, I would appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. Because I do thank each and every single one of you for watching my videos. Now, I'm going to go ahead and assemble this last piece. And we'll be done with both of our cards. Hopefully this is not going to be too, too lengthy of a video for you guys to watch. I'll set that aside. Okay, so these are the ones I did prior. I wore as a sample anyway. And I used the dots. And if you're wondering where I got the, these dots from, it's with, from, from the Forever Fern, from the um, Anya catalog. And then here are the ones that we made for today on this video. And you can essentially use this with any type of large or medium sized images. And this is the inside. I really enjoyed making these. I hope that you tried this at home. Please let me know if you need any help with any of the items that I've shown you today or if you need help with your order. Thank you very much for watching and you guys have a great day.